In this video, we're going to talk about how to enter data into the new GeoPack to HECRAS converter for Power GeoPack SS4. So what I have here open right now is just a default uh, GeoPack to HECRAS converter spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and delete all the contents in this in the spreadsheet because it's just sample data that's uh, there with the default file. And to do that, I'm just going to come up and click Delete All Contents. It's this button right here. Okay. The first uh, section I'm going to fill out is this stream bed uh, section, and uh, all the sections that are dealing with data picked up by your surveyor, uh, which typically is the stream bed, the upstream valley, the, the second upstream valley, um, the typical upstream channel section, the typical downstream channel section, and the downstream valley sections are all typically uh, surveyed in by your district surveyor. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to a DGN file that I have some survey data in it. And again, we have the stream bed, this long chain here, uh, the upper uh, valley section, the two typical sections, the upstream and the downstream. And then in this data, we have two downstream channel sections. And this has to be SS4 data to go into this, this spreadsheet. If you still have SS2 data, we still have the old SS2 data GeoPack to HECRAS spreadsheet and instructions on how to fill that out. Now, to, do, to verify that this is a um, SS4 survey data, typically your surveyor will import this data into a 3D file, and that's what we have here. Also, you can go to your Project Explorer, go to your Survey tab, and click on or expand out the default section here and under field books there should be a field book with data in it and I can tell that there's data in it when I go to the point features I have some point features and then the linear features I also have in there so this is a SS4 uh, survey file uh, that, you, that the district surveyor uh, brought his data into now to import these sections uh, the same procedure will be used for every one of them so what we're going to do is we're going to import the the uh, stream bed, and we're going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F4, and I'm going to select on the stream bed. And you can see all of if I zoom in, you can see some points in there. And I've made these points very small, and you can do the same thing as well. So if you open up, if you open up your survey file, and the points are really large, things you can do is reduce the the plot scale. So maybe if you, if you open it up, your points are fairly large. Uh, what I've done here is I've only turned, I have only point numbers listed here, but uh, typically when you get it from survey, you can have a whole bunch of stuff uh, showing up. And the way to turn that on and off is if you, again, go back to your survey tab, expand out the default, expand out field books, uh, then the, whatever the field book name is, expand that out, go to all point features, and click right click on all point features and go to annotation this is where you can turn off uh, the inv individual items or you can turn everything off so if I turn everything off if I can go back and go to annotation and I can turn everything on and so if your survey file looks something like this where it's got a whole bunch of items right on top of each other you can turn those items uh, off very easily uh, some people like doing it through the level manager you can do that if you like or you, again, you can go to the survey tab and go down, drill down to where it says all point features, right click, annotate, and I'm just going to turn everything off and then I'm going to go back and just turn on the point, uh, the names. Okay. Also, I'm going to crank it down to about a 10 scale because I don't really need to see the point names out there. So now we're going we're gonna to go ahead and export this, the uh, stream bed and again, Exporting the stream bed is exactly the same procedure you're going to use for the rest of these sections. And so we're going to go ahead and click on the stream bed. And when you click on it, you should be able to get some a heads up display. And the tool that we're going to go to is this one right here called Edit Point Feature. We're not really going to edit the point feature, we're just going to open it up to help us export this information out. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. I get the following dialog box. When I do that, I'm going to select all the data in there by clicking on this little top left square. And once you do that, you can come down into the, uh, 
column area here and just right click and you'll get an option to report the selected items. So we're going to go ahead and select on that. And it creates a report for that data. Now, this report that comes up is not the one I want to use, so I'm going to go down to the one called Survey Point Table. And it formats it in a way where I can grab the data uh, and, and put it into the spreadsheet. Now, there's one more step before we actually start grabbing the data. We're just going to go ahead and right click in here, and we're going to export this to an Excel, Microsoft Excel. And so it's got, what it's going to do is it's going to create a, a new sheet and dump that information into. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see the data that has come in. It's in point name, northing, easting, elevation, and also gives you the feature definition. We're not too worried about the feature definition, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab, uh, starting with the point name, and we're going to go over to elevation, and we're going to grab all that data. We're going to copy it. Once we're done copying it, we're going to go over to the GeoHex spreadsheet, and we're in the stream bed section. We're going to come in here, and we're going to right click where it says point name, because we're bringing in the point name, and we're going to paste it. Now you can paste it using this paste or this paste. If you, It really doesn't matter. So we're going to go ahead and just paste it in there. Now, one thing I, I forgot to mention is the point names are not required to be in the spreadsheet for the spreadsheet to work. Some people like the point names in there so they can kind of see the numeric order of the point names. All right? But they are not required. You do not have to bring those over if you don't want to. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close down this spreadsheet that was used to be, that was exported out of the report. I'm not, whoop, I don't want to save it. I hit save, but I'm going to say don't save. And once your data is in the spreadsheet, uh, you can actually visualize the stream bed. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, what the spreadsheet will do is it will check to make sure that your data was entered correctly. It was supposed to be entered from a high point down to a low point. And you can see that it was entered from a low point, the low elevation, and it's going up. And so that's the incorrect way to store that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit OK. And what's going to happen is the spreadsheet's going to invert that data for you automatically. Okay. Once we hit OK to that, there's the stream bed. Okay. So we're going to hit Return to Main Page. And when we go back to the main page, you can see that uh, the data has been inverted. Okay. And so that's all there is to importing the data from an SS4 um, survey uh, DGM. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it one more time. We're going to do the upstream valley. I'm going to go back over to the spreadsheet. I'm going to close down the report. Just to show you this all again, I'm going to close down the survey details pane. You don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I'm going to go up to the upstream valley. Here's the upstream valley. I'm going to hit F4 to flush out all my tools. I'm going to click on the upstream valley, and I'm going to try to get the heads up tools to pop up. Again, I'm going to slide on down to the edit point features. It's going to bring up all the points that make up that up, upper stream valley. I'm going to click on the top left square, highlights everything. I'm going to right click and I'm going to report selected items again. Again, it brings, up, brings me up to this one report. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to go down one to the survey point table. Again, I'm going to then right click and export this information out to Excel. Once it's in Excel, again, you can grab the point names if you want to. We're going to go ahead and do that. And we're just going to select all the data. Again, I'm going to right click and copy it from this spreadsheet. And I'm going to go into the other spreadsheet. And I'm going to paste that in there. You've got to be aware that you're on row number one as well, or row one. Uh, in, in, this, uh, in this field. So we're going to right click and paste it in there. And again, once you have it pasted in there, you can visualize that, that section or that profile. Okay. So that's all there is to importing the data from an SS4 survey DGN into this spreadsheet. And I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of this, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about how to uh, bring in um, the other data, the other sections, 
the upstream 30-foot offset section, the center line section, and the downstream 30-foot offset. Once we get those sections in there, we'll talk about how to enter this or get the station values uh, from the DGN or the survey information as well.